closing starting tomorrow. Sun's dead. What's up guys and thank you for checking out Work for Avocados. We are witnessing the last beach session for quite some time. The beach is closing starting 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Saw it on Facebook pop up and I ran all the way down here to feel the salt water one more time. Because who knows how long it's going to be. It's already been five days since the beach is closed and I really feel like that was the last thing I had. The job went, the income went, we're in uncharted territory guys. I know it's really easy right now to get depressed and beat up and wondering what's all gonna happen from here but we really just need to find something to do every day to be productive in some sort. I've tried a couple things this week to replace surfing. Some of them worked pretty decently. Others, not so much. I did come across something online though that I want to share with you guys. It is a DIY balance board, kind of like an Indo board, but instead of this front to back motion, it's actually long ways and it rolls rail to rail. So you're able to simulate cross stepping, nose riding, and your overall balance and ankle flexibility. Full disclaimer, I have zero construction experience, probably the last person who should be having power tools in a national state of emergency. So I know if I can do it, you guys can do it. The whole project itself probably costs about 50 bucks. You can spend a little bit more if you wanna make your board look nice. I'll leave a link down below with the original source where I found the instructions. But basically, all you're gonna need is a four by two piece of plywood, about three quarters of an inch thick, three foot of three inch diameter PVC pipe, some sandpaper, smooth out the edges, and you're gonna need a jigsaw. And I'm actually pretty stoked to how it came out. I've been riding it all morning and I will show you guys the footage at the end. If you haven't already, please press that like and subscribe button. I do videos every Thursday on surfing, skating, and finding the soak and the small stuff. Now more than ever is when we all need some soap. So without further ado, let's get to it. Thank you. All right guys, so we are starting with a four by two piece of plywood. Um, according to the template, we're gonna break it down into a rectangle with four squares. This is going to be our template. We're gonna be building a mini Sims balance board. All right, so I do not have the most steady hand in the world. Uh, originally, this was more of an aggressive tail, but came out pretty asymmetrical. We're doing a little bit more of a uh, fun shape. So next step, we have the stoppers that we're going to make to prevent you from rolling off. All right guys, so just to wrap this up, show you a couple things. 
I had used wood glue to get these stoppers on there. Um, you want them a little bit more inwards than you do on the rail because it's easier to recover that way. I didn't let them sit long enough with the glue. One of them popped off, so I just wound up screwing them in. And one last note, if you are gonna use this outside, be prepared for the balance board paint to come off. That's gonna wrap it up for me today, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. If you wound up making your own or you have some other projects you'd like to share, please leave a comment below. I know we could all use some extra activities at the moment. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.